Next match was also all decisive. Pomniachi Ferruja. A lot of Kiro Khans. Pomniachi's white. Advanced variation. And every game they played went this way. This was all their games. Um, they got this position like three times. This position. Okay. And the first two times, Ali Reza played the same thing. And the, and the third time was the Armageddon game. Ali Reza played something else. So here, Ali Reza played queen a5, which he did the next game also. And he got his king out, but he has two bishops. Okay. And okay, we're hoping to get this king safe. And this is very similar to a lot of games Yasser Sarawan played with black and the advanced variation in the 1980s. Yasser was playing the Carol Khan with black and the advanced variation. Yasser was getting some strategical advantage and his king was running around. That's very typical. Lots of good Yasser games. Some he won, some he lost, but really interesting. Sort of like this. Okay, so the Pomniachi does everything he can to get the king. He's attacked the king at all costs. Always get the king. Okay. Re reasonable idea. Get that king. All right. These moves are pretty good. Now he plays rook b1. He wants to play b3 and, and get the king. Always get the king. Okay. Get the king. Keep getting the king. A4. Excellent move. Get the king. Great. All right. And in this position, he started playing bad moves. Up until now... The Pomniachi's play may be perfect. Um, really interesting, complicated position. And the engine says lots of moves are good for white. Like rook b4, e6 check, queen g3. Now he started playing badly. Okay, queen f3, which I actually don't understand. That I mean, these pawns aren't attacked. So I, I, don't, I don't know why he went there. All right. And now the engine says black's fine. Just that one mistake. Like queen g3 would have threatened this. Rick b4 threatens the queen. The queen has to move somewhere worse. Queen f3 was just bad. Okay. Somehow black's king is safe here. Yes, Sir Sarah will be proud. King is safe on e6. Queen d1 also is very bad. Yeah. And now, you know, black is fine. Okay. Then something very interesting happened while I was analyzing the game. In this position, black played f3 which is a very interesting move. And I commentated that white will not play queen takes f3 because then black has a great end game. Black's king is very safe. Black's king is better than white. White has terrible pawn structure. White has a terrible bishop. So basically he'll make any move but this. He'll take it with a pawn. He'll play rook f2. He'll play queen b5. Any move but queen takes. And then he played queen takes. Making me look bad. And the engine's like, queen takes? I mean, after you trade queens, this king's great. And this knight's better than the bishop. Pawn structure is worse for white. So only, only white can lose. Black can never lose. So that was a very terrible decision, trading queens for white. And black won pretty easily, I think. And there was a nice trick at the end. I mean, white's pawns are all terrible. I mean, he's going to lose his pawns, so... Yeah, white, now white's, black's threatening checkmate. So he stops checkmate. And taking everything. Always play bishop f8. The end was really nice. The end of this game was beautiful. Yeah, h3 is an amazing move. Obviously, you want to play h2. So h3 looks like it just hangs the pawn. So he took it. And now an amazing move. Considering he has very little time on his clock, this is really impressive. H3 and D4 check. And there's two ideas. One is to do a knight fork that wins the rook, and the other is to checkmate him. So, for example, if you take, knight here attacks the rook and threatens rook e2 mate. So it just wins. And that's why you play D4 check, so the king can't go to D4. If you play knight F4... Rook two is not mate, because I play king d4. Karen agrees. Right, Karen? Yeah. See? Yeah. 
I mean, that's beautiful. H3D4 check. That's that's too hard for Tactics Trainer and Puzzle Rush. Yeah. The other thing is if you play King D3, Knight check wins the Rook. Therefore, he played King E4. And then this check, you can go here or here, and Knight check wins the Rook. So H3 was, and D4 is just genius. That was great. And then he resigned. That was great. Yeah. You're just great. 500 viewer adus. Man, usually Chess24 has like 20 times the number of viewers we do, but they're only ahead by 250. Hooray. I guess if we had 10 viewers, then that would still be the same you know, percentage. Hey, sweetie, can I have more coffee? Oh, good mommy. Thank you. Well, I like your outfit. I always like her outfit. He had 49 seconds. That's not a lot. Hi, viewer. Yeah, look what he did here. Come here so I can show you. This was like, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in the world of, of, of anything. All right. So, Ferruja's black. All right. Now watch this. This is super complicated. He plays H3, putting in an H. Thanks for the 200 cent to do See how he hung his pawn? What a potser, right? Okay, so he takes it. Okay, now you ready? Yeah. D4 check. He's playing giveaway. He forgot he was playing regular chess. Yeah. Okay, so the point is if you take, mm -hmm. now the king can't go there because there's a pawn there for white. So now you play knight f4 attacking the rook. You agree. Mm -hmm. And this is mate. The reason it's mate is you can't play king d4. All right. So obviously he saw everything I just told you. Yeah. Now, he also had to see if the king goes here, there's a knight fork. And he also had to see what happened. Here, check. The king has two legal moves. Mm -hmm. And then the knight fork. The funny thing is, the, this you're forking this, and this is attacking the rook, but it has to move away from the rook. He's in check, and he has to move away from the rook. Right, okay, yeah. Then you take the rook. So when he played h3, he saw all that. How do you see h3 takes d4, knight, how do you see all that? How do you know, like what? How do you figure that out? Mm -hmm. So the thing is, he wants to queen his pawn, and he wants to checkmate the guy, and he put it all together. And he had seconds on his clock, right? And then, I don't want to make fun of any of the players, and I am not a GM, but I'm going to, okay? I don't want to, but I have to. Okay, yesterday, when Carissa lost to Greg Shahadi, spoiler for you guys who don't know, you guys are like, wow, Carissa's 16, and you know, rah, okay? Ferruja 16, the end, QED, I have spoken. The truth hurts. See, when you live in America, America, okay, all the American parents, you know, who aren't necessarily American, but they think their kids are the greatest in the world. When they go to the world's youth, they're always sad why their kids don't win. Okay, now you know why. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, what is your point? Yeah, my point is, <laughs> you know, yeah, Carissa's 16, like, that's the same rating I was when I was 16. I mean, you know, so, People but, are... but Ferruja... <laughs> Now, she's the oh. greatest on earth. Oh, yeah. She's oh, yeah. Good. You didn't no. watch. By the way, remember you were confused why Carissa looks so weird? With the strap? Yeah, yeah I, know, I know what happened. Oh, what was going they on? said what happened. Oh. Carissa always wears a cap mm -hmm. and she had it backwards. So you saw like the things in the back. I thought it might be a cap. That's what it was. Because it was dark. That's what it, be, that's okay. what it was. Mike, do yeah. <laughs> Ben's job is telling helicopter parents their gifted child in every world champion. I mean, that is correct. She's talented. Nobody's trying to say she's the greatest on the planet. Oh, yeah, they all say that. No, they don't. Yeah, you know who says it? Her parents, everybody's parents. <laughs> all right, now, to prove my point the most, okay, and then Karen's going to nod and be like, all right. <laughs> Remember we got the email from that parent? My kid came sixth in the under 700. Can I get a discount to the chess camp? <laughs> yeah. Well, why isn't, I think they wanted a schol. they used the word scholarship. <laughs> How do you answer that? Your kid came in like fifth or sixth and under 700. What? What, 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 are, what are we yeah, supposed to say? That's a true story, yeah. <laughs> what, no, yeah, that happened. And we're like, uh, what, what, what's our response? What do you say to that parent? You say no, say yes. Like when you say no, how do you explain 
But do you, do you tell the parent why no? No, we just said we didn't, we didn't have scholarships available. I mean, they didn't know anything about chess, obviously. Yeah. They thought their kid was great. <laughs> no, not because their child is so bad. They thought that was great. They were like, wow, my kid, you know. Yeah. Depends how bad you want their money. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> sir, your child is a disappointment to the chess community. Yeah, that's... <laughs> Show them Faruja games. <laughs> what? <laughs> that's right. Your kid is bad and you should feel bad. That's that's Zoidberg. First of all, I have to set that up. Zoidberg was explaining to Fry that it wasn't because he had the devil's hands that he played, it was in his heart. So he's like, okay, then he played. And it's really bad. He says, you're bad and you should feel bad. That's one of Zoidberg's. <laughs> Uh, 10 lessons at premium rates. That's right. Anyway, the truth hurts. Yeah. My kid's the best. No, no. Okay. Here's another story. I don't know if you were standing there. We, you know, you know, where that there in, in Tennessee, there's that place where you get your trophies mm -hmm. and then that guy gives you your trophies. Yeah. A woman walked up to the front and she said, where can we buy these trophies? I want to get my kid a trophy. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, guys, like what? Yeah, where do I want to buy these trophies? Yeah, what? Get my kid, you win. All right, her kid's the greatest. All right, everybody's kid is a genius. That's so American. That is correct. All right, and the truth hurts. Um, okay, back to the next game. All right, Ferruja. Okay, so it's one one, or is it one zero? It's one zero. Okay, and he plays the Dutch. And Ferruja plays this weird line. Is it 1-1 one, one or is it? No, it's 1-0. One, okay. 1-0 one, for Ferruja. And this is all, you know, whatever. It's about equal, I guess. Engine likes white. <clears throat> okay, now Ferruja goes on a journey with his queen. He decides to see who can make the most queen moves. The answer is him. <laughs> okay, then he almost loses his queen. But, you know, truth hurts. See, his queen moves a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Time to keep moving the queen. Yeah, and the engine's like, man, your queen's not too good there. Yeah. yeah, now the engine doesn't like the fact that the queen is, you know, almost trapped, if not trapped. For example, if it was black's move, knight e7's annoying. That's why he played e6. So he got his knight out of there so he could move his queen some more. Right. And now after takes takes, his game's no good. So, like, these things were here, like, 20 moves ago. Then he moved them all, he moved them back. So now he just got crushed. <clears throat> like, crushed really badly. Yeah. yeah. I would say with eyeliner. Yeah? Yeah. I know that I'm missing a reference. Right. What, well, come on, you live in Georgia. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if they got it. Come on, come on. I can't see the chat. Well, they haven't said anything yet. There we go. Are you? I'm crushed with eyeliner. Dun, dun. You know that song? Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, okay, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now here comes the shack attack. God damn. Two bishops, what else? Damn. He's all over him like something. This was genius, by the way. He played e5. He took. Then he thought he would take back, which is good, by the way. But he played here. This is great. See how this is me? You agree. Mm -hmm. If you play queen d2, right? See? Then you go here. You can't take it through the queen. Right. That wins a piece. You just took a piece. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't see the rook. Now the engine gives rook e2, queen f1, always play bishop f1, and black has a rook and two bishops for a queen. Mm -hmm. Rook and two bishops is better than a queen. God damn. All right. So he played knight e3. Now he's threatening rook takes knight when queen takes g2 mate. And then it's the same trick. The same deviled egg. Yeah, white's position is good except for one thing. God damn. Let's see the beating like this ever. Now, in this position, um, that's funny. When I looked at it live, it said this didn't win because white has some perpetual. But now it says white, it says black does win. Hmm, because you know you have queen here check, 
-hmm. then you have Rakir check and you got check everywhere. But this way, this way you have fewer checks. Oh, it was this position. In this position, th this is a draw now. Oh, I see. But he played D takes. And mm -hmm. then he resigned because there's like two checks. You're like, Rook here, queen here, check, bishop f8. Always play bishop f8. All right. So that game, Faruja got crushed, but he did have an active king. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his rook's not too good. All right, one to one. This is game three. Remember I told you they played the same opening every game? Remember that? Yeah. Okay, they did this again. Okay. Now, in the first game, Black played queen a5. In this game, Black played queen a5. In the Armageddon game, he did not. Change his mind. Okay, so they got this position, and he played queen takes c5, and now he played knight c6. Okay. Change from the other game. All right, and they trade everything. Always trade everything. All right, so this king's no good, but if the king gets to a safe square, then black's position's great. Okay, it's like the French defense you play, but the bishop's here. So, cool, right? All right. So he's trying to mess him up, and he sacks all of his pawns because he wants to get at that king. And that's an excellent move. That's why queen takes a2 is bad. See the pin? You like pins, right? Mm -hmm. And now the knight has all these great squares. So the more pawns white sacrifices, the more open files to Black's king. If Black's king was here, he'd be up two pawns. But So Napomniachi trying to punish his opponent for his indolence. Yeah, and he played excellent. I mean, White just played great this game. See how he discovered defends that? Mm -hmm. see, see what happened there? It was pretty good. Yeah. Man, White's taking everything. All right, now in this position, you see how the knight's hanging? Mm -hmm. If you take it, now it's puzzle rush. This is a puzzle rush problem. Okay. You're black and puzzle rush. All right. Um, well, obviously, let's see, the F2 pawn is weak. Right. See, a lot of people would take that, and then that's wrong because mm -hmm. this is mate. And now this is the wrong puzzle rush answer. Usually that's the right one because you play rook takes mate, mm -hmm. but this is mate one. Oh, yeah. They, they, like to, they like to give you that one. They like that in puzzle rush. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's one of their favorites. Tricky. Okay, so what's funny is if you play rook takes, this is a huge threat. But if you don't move the rook, this is not a big threat. But this is a threat. So he played knight d6. And after takes here, black has nothing. The king is safe. This king's not safe. The rook is hanging. The rook can't move because queen g7, etc. Okay, then brilliant finish. Brilliant. This is puzzle rush also. Queen e4. Now, if rook takes knight, then we get your puzzle rush, queen f1. Then we're, then we're in business. Mm -hmm. Okay, this threatens the knight, you agree. And the rook, you also agree. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he took the knight. Check. This would be a good puzzle rush, too. This wins for white, but this is mate. So they're tricking you by letting you win at rook, where you can mate him. And then he resigned. If you go here, then this is mate. And if you go here, then this is me. It's funny, this queen and rook and this king and rook, this is like the white square symphony game. Especially with this pawns like this, the Karpov Kasparov game from the World Championship match. Mm -hmm. This is like exactly like exactly like this. Yeah. All right. So now Nepo's up 2 1. He needs a draw. Now, when you need a draw, you play sort of boring, but not Napomniachi. He can't play boring. The Dutch. Rawr. Okay, so the game makes no sense, like, already. Black needs a draw to win the match. And Black got a very good position. Good position for Black. Very good. Okay, now Black played blunder, 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 blunder. Every move a blunder, right? The engine says Black's, like, winning. The engine loves black. Okay, black's position is great. Okay, like this is this is no good. So he played f4 question mark. Bishop takes h3 question mark. E takes f4 question mark. And now the engine says white's winning. What's funny is this is how a low rated player plays. The high rated player builds and builds and builds. Then you're lost. You don't know why. Like when you're playing Karpov. The, high, the low rated players like, rawr, I resign. That's what Napomniachi did. He just kept playing crazy moves until he was lost. 
Yeah, and then all these pieces are terrible. This are all, they're all trapped. And and White has the two bishops. And White has a passed pawn. And White's threatening rook d7. I mean, this is a terrible position. Yeah, and now you lose a piece. If you take this way, I said if, right? Then takes, takes, rook g1 check. You can't play the king to the f file because queen f5 check. So king h8 and then queen e2 pinning, double pin. You know those pins that are like double pins? If you take this with check, that's checkmate. It's true. All right. So he can't take the rook on d8. He takes this, and he's down material, and he's getting crushed. Horrible. Now, what's funny here is the professional way to win is to go here. There's no checks. This is the engine way to win, to give black like 30 checks because the king just runs out. You know, like in my game with Esserman, the king just ran out. All right. Now you can see if three pawns is better than a rook. The answer is no. And also, this is very important. The king, the king can't be helping those pawns out because this pawn queens. Mm -hmm. So the king has to stay here so these pawns just get eaten up. And he resigned. Lose all his pawns. Truth hurts. See the engine result? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so Ferugia wins the last game Four decisive games, just like in the Magnus match, except it's two to two. Now it's time for Armageddon. Okay. Uh, Ali Reza won the toss, and then he took black. And they got that same position I kept showing you. The Carol Khan one? Yeah. Right? Okay. And here he kept playing queen a5, bishop takes, king takes. That was every game. Now he played a3. He decided not to have his king run around this game. Well, he decided now, but later. <laughs> okay, so he played a3. Then he played knight c6, so his king's not going to run around. All right, so very reasonable game, about equal. Good game. Everybody's happy. Black has draw odds. Material's equal. Everything's good. All right, now here I like black's position. I did. And then white has one plan, f4, f5. That's it. That's the only plan. But he, man, he did it. Man, he got that f4, f5 in. Knife, f5. Usually the king is here right about now. But it's, you know, could castle at some point maybe. All right, so white's doing great. And the blunder is coming. Got a blunder in chess. Always repeat. And then check here, 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 here. And the engine says equal. And if it's a draw, Ali Reza wins because he is black. Okay, now he made a move that wasn't quite as good as the other move because it's like cool looking. Sort of like in it's Sunny, it's Thunder, Cat, Cool. Okay, so in this position, if the rook moves vertically, we have rook b1 made and queen d1 made and queen a1 made. Therefore, we can move our queen to the f file. The rook can't take the queen because of rook b1. So which move looks more shocking, queen f4 or queen f2? Which one looks more shocking? Yeah. Queen f2. Correct. That's actually the worst move. That's what he did. Okay. Queen f4 is better because it stops queen g5 check. Queen f4 controls more squares around here. Mm -hmm. But queen f2 looks more cool, so he played that. That's a mistake. 999. Thanks, Linder. Hey, thank you, Linder. Yeah, he played queen f2. That's a mistake. Not a losing mistake, but queen f4, the engine says this is a draw. Because now you got to play like rook g1, because, you know, you get mated. Mm -hmm. Rook e4 winning this, it's a draw. But he played queen here because that looks like more scary, right? Check. And now he made the losing move. And the winning move for white is too hard for a puzzle rush. You, you can't do the next one. It's, I mean, it, it would be for like a no, no, Nakamura or something. Okay. So here, it's still a draw. King d7 draws, mm -hmm. but he played king e6. And the reason that loses is very puzzle rushy. Okay. The reason the king is worse here than here is very interesting. 
Notice how the rook is hanging, right? Mm -hmm. So we have a back rank problem. So he put his queen on the back rank. Defending his rook, you agree, and threatening the queen. Mm -hmm. Now, if the king was on d7, if, which he should have played, then white can't infiltrate on the c-file. Now, white's killing it. Rawr! And then he's going to mate him. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this queen's hanging. So after here, the game's over. Like black can resign, but he didn't see queen c1 because people don't see retreats, as I've said in lessons many times. Mm -hmm. Queen c1. Very good move. And Napomniachi found it, and the game's over. So in this position, if Ali Reza played king d7, he may have won the match, but he played king e6, and now it's over. And then queen e2 is also not good, but it doesn't matter. Now, if you play king here, you get checkmated. And if you play king here, you get skewered. He chose the skewer, then he resigned. So the game ended very abruptly. Like, engine said equal, then he resigned two moves later. <laughs> the truth hurts. Yeah. So Napomniachi wins. Now, in those first two matches, no draws. I just showed them nine games of chess with no draws. That's exciting. Yeah, see how excited Karen? Yeah, she's excited. Mm -hmm. um, so, okay, let me get rid of some of these games because I have a lot of games up here. I got a lot of games. I got a lot of games. He's still in Daddy 4. A lot, a lot of games. 